everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is the second part, so let's continue modeling this kit bosch. Let's connect all these vertices as shown here. Let's fill all these faces like this. Hit F to fill them. And after filling all those faces, just keeping uh, some these two holes over here, and you have got this shape as shown here. So I'm gonna be extruding on the Z axis. Hit select all, then extrude on the Z axis like this, and you have got this amazing shape. So let's continue modeling. You should select all verges surrounding this area of the hole. Uh, scale it down, but it's gonna be going down just a little bit. So just to constrain it, constrain it to X and Y axis. Uh, hold down Shift G, then move it to, to the center like this. I think it's not bad. Uh, just like this, it's good and fine and this time let's see what we have here switch to face selection mode select all those faces over here in this area like this hit i to inset i think it's uh, fine inserting like this in order to leave uh, this space in between the hole and this area then extrude it on the Z axis to create a nice protrusion going up and add in some tiny detail for our kit bosch. Also, let's do it uh, to, for this part. Select all those faces like this. Uh, just I'm going to insert or leave it as it is. So just insert tiny bit like this I'm going to select all those faces hold on control select them then I think uh, I should grab them just a little bit on the Z axis grab on the Z axis just like this I think it's fine so let's uh, add some supporting edge loops to our uh, 3D mesh. I think uh, I I wouldn't do anything for the this bottom. Control R. Let's add some supporting edge loops to these uh, corners. Control R. Do it also. Control Z. It's a mistake. Control R. Let's add it. Uh, for this edge and corner to make it uh, sharper then control R do it also for this edge to make it uh, nice and much sharper do it also for this section let's add another but don't drag it uh, closer to the edge control R let's add another loop cut Control R also. Control R to add another look at, drag it uh, just a little bit. Also, let's add another look at over there. So, Control R also. I think it's uh, fine. So, just let's add another look at over here. Control R. We should add uh, many loop cuts to support some edges when adding subdivision surface modifier. And that's it for this part. Thanks for watching.